right, let's try this again. What's good, everybody? Doug back <laughs> with another video today. Um, today we actually got some speakers and a little radio for this car right here, my little daily driver, the Corolla build. So let's get to it. Zoom in on that, ooh, zoomed in. So this is the radio we're working with right now, stock radio. Um, cassette player, which is a sick upgrade, even though there's a cassette stuck in there. Let's see if we turn this bad boy on. Yeah. So we're gonna replace this guy right here with the new one. It's gonna be another CD list, which I like. Just like using like Bluetooth, it's much easier, a little bit lighter because there's not that much parts in it. And we got speakers for the front and the back. So the speakers are actually under the dash right here. They're gonna be, I think we bought four inches for the front and the back's like five and a quarter. So let's get this thing done. So we're gonna be inside for a little bit. Um, I was getting pretty sweaty being outside just trying to film the video. So we're gonna stay inside real quick just to do an overview on the speakers and the radio. While we're in here, stay hydrated. It's really hot outside, guys. So everything we got, we got pretty cheap off of Amazon. Amazon Special. These are gonna be the front speakers. They're four inches, two-way speakers. I don't know the company, but they looked reasonable. We'll do one speaker for now. This bad boy over. Whoa, that came apart. That's that speaker right there. It's a four inch ply. I don't know what that is, but it should work pretty nice. Has this grill on it. I don't think we're gonna be using that because the dash pretty much covers it all. Be the back speakers, way speakers for the rear. 5.25, which is a quarter. Some wire, that's pretty cool. Just in case we need to run new wire. More bolts right there. I guess another wire. Ooh, it's got a nice magnet on the back, which magnets are cool, right? And this is our little radio receiver. It's uh, another Boss system MP3. That's pretty old school, but yeah, digital AMF, <laughs> AMF, digital AM slash FM radio right here. Um, it's also CD list or mech list, so much smaller than the usual CD ones, which is pretty long. It's already got plugs right here, so we can maybe throw in a little sub later to get some little bass. Doom, 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 that bass. So this is pretty much what it looks like right here in the front. Not detachable, but I don't really care about that. I just wanted a nice sleek look. Those are all the products. Let's just you know go outside and get this done just hang on guys get some water put some ice in it drink it up and watch me get sweaty so right now we're gonna do the front or the receiver the receiver the radio yeah the receiver um i kind of did this in my subaru video but i didn't really show you like the wiring setup i just literally unplugged and plugged in the new one because i already had the same kind of system in it so yeah, this is gonna be a more detailed video than that one. So we're just gonna get into splicing the wires. We're gonna pull it apart and see what's actually back in there and let's get it done. First, let's get all these windows rolled down because it's pretty hot outside. So there's gonna be a bolt screw right down here that you take off. And another one on the other side of the studio right there. So there's quite a few bolts we need to take off. There's a couple of 10 mils that go at the bottom of this dash piece. I need to pop this little cover out right here. There's another 10 mil. I took this little speaker cover out and there's gonna be some more bolts because we need to take this off. Well, we're gonna take this off anyway to get to the speaker. But we need to take this off so we can actually reach these bolts that hold the center console part on. I pretty much got all these bolts out. There's one, uh, another one on this side I didn't see and literally just Slide straight down. There might be another bolt right here I didn't take off. It's getting kind of stuck. Oh, never mind. All right, now we can get to this center console piece. So take both screws off and let's get this popped out. Sorry, little buddy, I'm gonna have to take you off. You've been, you did good work, man. You did good work. Thank you, all subscribers out there. Ha. We literally had to take, I honestly thought it would be easier than this. I literally had to take this um, 
steering wheel cover off just so I can pull this far enough off just so I can pull that top cover off which you have to take the bottom cover off so pretty much everything in the dash comes apart just to get this speed or just to get this little radio out of here next we'll get this guy out and then wire up the new one got these two plugs that came out of stock radio if you go online you can pull up a wired schematic for your radio so you can match up the new colors or sorry the OEM colors with the new colors and we can just pretty much splice them together to use the new uh, the new connections for our radio What I went ahead and did was get the new wiring harness and just crimp all these connectors on the start so I don't have to try to crimp both sides while I'm in there. And now we're just gonna cut these apart, pick the right ones that go together and crimp them together. I might leave an extra room because why not? Alright guys, so after spending like an hour trying to figure out why it wasn't powering the radio, looking at all the wiring schematics online for this car, I couldn't figure out how to get the radio to start. I ended up getting the battery constant power to this brown wire right here, and then for the ignition wire, I guess on some of these older cars they don't push enough ohms or something to like send a signal to new aftermarket head units I guess for it to start so I ended up getting the ignition this the red one and I tapped a wire down into the cigarette lighter because that has a 12 volt signal so when it turns on the car turns on this will turn on and in turn turns the radio on so now we can get all this wire nice and neat and then shove it back in there and then go on to the speakers Alright guys, so it's day two, we're putting these speakers in today, we're just going to put the speakers in because we ran out of daylight trying to put the radio in, because we couldn't figure out why it wasn't turning on, and we figured out because it was at uh, the wire signal, whatever. So now we're just going to go to the front speakers and do back speakers, and we should be good. Alright, so now we're going to do the front speaker, it's this big thing right here. This is a front speaker, obviously the other side is the same way, this big bulky thing, so we're going to try to tackle that, whoops, sorry my hand's in the way, we're going to try to tackle that and get that new speaker in there, and bump the jams, bump, 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 keep my car prime. The car. This one's pretty concave and it doesn't have. Since that doesn't fit because of this 
like grill thing right here. I'm gonna just cut around it. Looks like it fits pretty fine. I might just bend these up some this way so they don't scratch the speaker. So this one you got a bolt right there, and then you got one, two, three, four screws up here, another bolt right there, another bolt right there, and then bolt down there, bolt down there, and then screws on the back. And also I took this plate off right here because it I need to take it off anyway. And I had to cut that mesh out like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these out. There's like one, two, and three, so I can try to pry this bad boy up. So I'm in the car right now. You're gonna literally a lot harder than I thought. So what I did was, if you can see over here, put the seat down. You gotta take, pull this other side of the seat off. You're gonna have to unbolt the back seat belt that goes right there. So you can pop this top panel off. And then after we get the other side, this should be able to pop straight up and then we can change the speakers that are in there. So there's the new speakers in there. It took me like way longer than I expected. I'm pretty much messed up. That little carpet thing up here, the wood, trying to yank it out, because I, I swear they probably, when they built this, I bet you they they probably put all this stuff down, then all that down, and then threw the window right on top, because that thing was a pain to get out. But I'll pretty much just turn them on, see how they blast, and I'll probably just put all the interior back off camera by myself. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for the video. I put all the speakers in. I got all the trim back in the back, which was a pain in the butt. Like, I hope I never have to do that again, but I probably will when I redo the headliner. So, thanks again for watching. Um, speakers sound better than they were stock. The stock ones were just slapping like paper in the air, but... <laughs> it's better than before so this is gonna just be a budget daily driver so maybe later on we'll get a subwoofer and it'll sound way better but thanks again for watching guys i'll just throw an outro of like this music in my car how it sounds i don't know if the speak or the mic will pick it up nice or not but uh like subscribe and comment on anything you want to see me do and we'll see you in the next one and i'm the one they want to hear from don't understand